Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. <laughs> Let me get my equipment straightened up here real quick. I'll be with you in just a few. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, hold on. I got to adjust my screen. Okay. I don't want to push the wrong button. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, please, please. Whoops. That was wrong. <laughs> See, I'm touching the wrong buttons here. Okay. Okay, and hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, everyone. Please, please, please. This is sometimes this can be um, difficult. Ah, okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm okay now. <coughs> okay. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and you can hear me. Oh, Dr. Ramirez. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Okay. Dr. Ramirez says, yes, she can see me and hear me. Okay. Fantastic. Yay. Hello, Marion. Hello, Ava. Okay. Good, good, good. Tetsuro's here. Tomas is here. Fran is here. Yes. Let me go back a little bit to see. Lolly's here. Fantastic. Our green team is in the house. I see Ken is too. Esther's here. Hello, Esther. Okay, good. <clears throat> Hajar, hello, California. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'm from Los Angeles, but now I live in Japan. Okay, good, good. Good morning from Japan. It's morning here. Well, um, late morning. It's 10 a.m late morning here in Japan. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. Well, anyways, <clears throat> ah, I got a little cough here. Let me get some water real quick. Okay. Now, before I do anything else, I, we need to have a toast, right? We always, have, we always have a toast for good luck, right? So let's get our beverage. Hey, Seiwu's in the house. Mwah, hello, Seiwu. Okay, let's get our beverage for our toast. And mine, of course, is hot coffee. Yes, it is. All right, pick it up. Let's toast to the green team. Yes, the supporters. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give a big, big thank you to the green team. Cheers, green team. Thank you. If you don't have a beverage, let's fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Mm. Ah, it's hot, it's hot. All right, now let's have our second toast to you. You are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and wonderful lesson today cheers everyone cheers bump cheers bump okay let's have another drink because we had that toast cheers ava cheers dr ramirez nice nice so dr ramirez i hope your internet connection works well okay so um let's hope for that okay good good all right well um <clears throat> let's talk about today's lesson plan yes okay good it's wednesday here in japan so that means we're going to do use the conversation book yeah my 50 very short conversations and today we will do um last week we, we did remember we did the quiz and we did just the first part of the extension questions so we will continue with the um the the second group of extension questions and we will also do conversation number nine at home and these are household chores so that's what we're <clears throat> that's what we're going to do with the book and of course we have dictation cards yes we always do that and we have a listening we have listening practice i will read you a story <clears throat> and I will ask you some questions about the story, okay? Good, good, good. All right, so that's today's lesson plan. I hope you are ready. 
I hope you are um, comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice with me. We will be here for one hour, but usually, <coughs> oh boy, but usually we go over time. Um, I'm going to try to, it looks like we'll probably go over time again today because um, we have a lot to talk about, And but I, I, I'm going to try to make it in an hour, you know, not two, not not two hours, closer to one hour, further from two hours. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do our extension questions. If you have the book, that'd be great. Um, you can get it. We could. You can look at it with me. If you don't have it, that's okay because I'm going to write everything on the board. So don't worry. If you don't have the book, no problem. You can get the book at Amazon.com. The link is below this video in the descriptions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our extension questions, and those are on page 13. And these, these extension questions have to do with conversations three and four. So it's a, a review. Um, the quiz, right, so it, it reviews the some of the patterns in the conversation, and the extension questions just continues the topic. And so the topic for conversations three and four is around town, all right? So, so the, the topic, the extension questions have to do with around town. And our first extension question is, what does convenience mean? What does convenience mean? So I'm, I want you in the chat to please tell me what you think convenience means. What does convenience mean? I'll write that on. I'll write this question on the board. This is question one. There are three questions. Question one is, what does, what does convenience mean? What does convenience mean? Or we say, like, what does it mean to you? What does convenience mean? And um, what does it mean to you? What does convenience mean? What does convenience mean to you? Okay, Tomas says comfortable. Okay, yeah, so so something like um, it's convenient, so or uh, convenience, so it's comfortable, it's easy. Okay, good. Dr. Mara says, um, being, being able to do something without difficulty. Yeah. Um, being able, okay, Dr. Maris, being able to do something without difficulty. Being able to do something without difficulty. Ava, be easy. Yes, yes. That's, I think that's what it means to me, something easy. Tamas says, um, but what means, okay, th we're going to get to that. Hold on, hold on, Tamas. <laughs> hold on, that is, do you have the book, Tamas? That is um, question two. <laughs> Tamas is getting too far ahead. <laughs> okay, um, okay, we're going fast now. Okay, Rita says, um, it's good for me. Yeah, so easy, good for me. Good, Rita. Sebu says, um, it makes people easy. It makes things, it makes things easy for people. Sebu, it makes things easy for people. It makes things easy for people. Helga, the state of being able to proceed with, with something with little effort or difficulty. Good. Convenience means helpful, okay? There's many, th th there's many ways to interpret the meaning of conven convenience. 
Okay, Gene says, I can't see the handwriting. I'm sorry. You can't read my handwriting. I'm sorry about that. It, it is not very neat. It's sloppy, huh? What does convenience mean? What does convenience mean? What does convenience mean? Practical, easy, good. I like that, Lolly. That's a very good answer. Practical and easy. Yeah, practical is um, like logical. Practical, it's you, you to tell, or it's, it's logical, right? It's not confusing. It's not confusing. It's practical. It's easy to see, right? Easy to understand. It's practical. Jonathan, sorry, I don't read uh, Chinese. <laughs> Dr. Mara says, being able to do without difficulty. Yeah, being able to do without difficulty. Being able to do without difficulty. Diffic we need the um, adverb there. Difficulty. Okay, Tomas. Um, oh, you don't have a book. You're, you're just, you, you know what I'm going to say. Okay, good, Tomas. To feel relaxing, do something you want. Okay? This means a piece of cake. Oh, yeah, okay. Good, so there's an idiom. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. Can you do that? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Um, mm, it's a piece of cake. Easy. It's no problem. It's a piece of cake. Marion says, convenience means better. A better way to do something. Yeah, it's a better way to do something. Yeah, to provide, to prov okay, Jonathan, to provide to do something easier. Good. Say, well, it makes things easier easy for people good comfortable yes Muhammad um, okay hello Muhammad okay good yeah <clears throat> so I think all your answers are correct that's uh, that's what I think too um, you know something easy to do Merry Christmas Norman how you doing Norman Merry Christmas Good to see Norman. Ava! Ava, you're always giving. Ava, thank you so much. Right off, right away. Thank you so much, Ava. I'm going to write your name there, of course. And I'm going to give you today's cards. Today's cards. Of course, Ava. Mwah. You're always, Ava, too kind. Ava's always supporting me. And um, uh, I really appreciate always, Ava. Cheers, Ava. Super kind. Mwah. Mwah. Three kisses for Ava. Mwah. Three stars. Three kisses for Ava. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, too. Mwah. Silva is in the house. Hello, Silva from Brazil. Okay, good. Yes. Mwah. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Actually we say actually we say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yeah. Norman, Happy New Year. I let's hope 2021 will be a good year. Yeah, so let let's let's all let's all pray. Let's all hope. Let's all fight for a great 2021. Yeah, those are good numbers. I like 2021. That sounds good, right? It's 2021. So Let's fight. Let's do our best for a great 2021. Okay, good, good. Oh, um, Tomas has a question. Does convenience breakfast exist? Um, we don't say convenience breakfast. No, we say a convenient breakfast. So, for example, yes, it does. Oatmeal is a convenient breakfast. It's easy to make. Very easy. It, especially they have microwave oatmeal tomas so you just you just um empty the packet of oatmeal in the bowl pour some water in it and put it in the microwave oven and it's done in one minute so oatmeal is very convenient so a convenient breakfast does exist also 
Yogurt is very easy, very convenient. You just get a container of yogurt, you put some fruit in there, put maybe some granola in there, mix it up, and that's very easy, very quick. It's a very convenient breakfast. You can even um, eat it in your car <laughs> when you're driving to work. <laughs> if you got, oh no, I'm running late, but you're hungry, you need breakfast, <clears throat> so just grab a carton of yogurt, a spoon, <laughs> And you could eat it in the car when you're driving to work. Yeah. So a convenient breakfast. Okay, here we go, Tomas. Um, oatmeal is a convenient breakfast. Oatmeal is a convenient breakfast. No, I did not, Dr. Maris. Um, I did not see the alignment of planets. We talked about that on the Zoom. Marcos mentioned that that, what is it, Venus and Jupiter are aligning? I did not see that. How about you? Did you see that? We're, you're, you're, you're south, so maybe you have a better view of that than we do in Japan. No, I did not see that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Tomas says it means a simple breakfast. Yeah, so uh, usually something simple is easy. Um, convenient is like, for example, okay, simple, like, for example, not many ingredients. It's very simple, not many ingredients, not many items, right? But convenient is more like easy to eat, easy to make. So something simple may not be so easy to make or so easy to eat, right? It's simple but maybe it takes time to make. Where convenient is easy to make, easy to eat, okay? So it's a little, Tomas, a little different. The nuance is a little different. Simple is just not many ingredients. So like, for example, I like a simple pizza, right? Tomato sauce, cheese, and maybe one or two toppings. So I like, I like a simple pizza. Most of my most of the food I like is, I like simple food, like pasta, not many things in it. So for most meals, I like my meals simple, but convenient is a little different. Okay, good, you got it. Okay, so I think we got it. So, um, so what does convenience mean? I think it, it means easy to do, easy, t easy to do. Okay, that's just a simple answer, <laughs> I guess, easy to do. All right, question two is Tomas. He already, <clears throat> yeah, that's very simple. A glass of milk with buttered bread. Yeah, that's very simple, basic, simple. Okay, our second one is, um, why do we say convenience store? Why do we say convenience store <clears throat> why do we say convenience store that's our second question very good Fran exactly Fran Fran says taking a shower is more convenient than taking a bath when we work. Yes, it's very, it's much quicker, right? <laughs> it's very, a bath takes time. I enjoy a bath more, but a bath takes more time. Norman. Norman is very, very friendly to everyone. Very, very nice. Thank you, Jean. Mwah, thank you so much. Helga, I like simple pizza, salami, alone joke <laughs> oh, a salami pizza no, actually helga i like my favorite pizza is salami with green peppers of course tomato you have to have tomato sauce and cheese so tomato sauce cheese and then the toppings two toppings actually pepperoni pepperonis like salami right very close pepperoni and green pepper that's my favorite 
pizza. Always from a kid. From, from a kid, I enjoyed that pizza. I still do. Okay, here's our, our second question. What, why, 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 why do we say convenience store? Okay, small, small supermarket. Okay, but why do we say convenience store, Lolly? So not exact. I I'm, I'm thinking of a different answer, Lolly. That's, so that's what a convenience store is, right, Lolly? So if the question was, Lolly, what is a convenience store? The answer would be a small supermarket, right? However, the question is, why do we say convenience store? Why do we say convenience store? Not what is a convenience store, but why do we say convenience store? Okay, Dr. Maris is on the board there. Okay, Tetsuro too. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Tetsuro says, because there are a lot of convenient goods there. Okay, that's a nice answer, Tetsuro. Dr. Maris, we say convenience because you can find the most necessary items. Dr. Maris, nice one. The most necessary items. Lolly says, small supermarket in general on the corner of, <laughs> of our house. Okay. Uh, okay, Lolly. So I, I'm looking for like Tetsuro's answer, Dr. Ramirez's answer. What sport do I like? I like, I like many sports. So watching sports versus playing sports is different, right? So I have sports I like to watch and I have sports I like to do different. Okay, um, Brishinha, because there we can find basic goods. Yeah, Sewu, there are a lot of things that you can buy it anytime. Nice one. Anytime. It's convenient, right? Anytime. It's okay to get it. It's always open. That's right. Good, Sewu. Um, okay, Lion says, we say convenience store because it's near our house. Yeah, so usually convenience stores are, there are more than supermarkets, right? Supermarkets are large, and they need a lot of space, right? So, so the supermarket itself is large, and then they need a large parking lot, right? So to, to have a supermarket, you need a large area. However, convenience stores are much smaller, so there can be more convenience stores in different locations, yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, so Dr. Maris, sometimes convenience stores are open late, yep, yeah, for our convenience, right? They're open late for our convenience. Marion, because it close, it's close to our house, yep, yeah, our convenience. Um, I don't like to watch sports on TV. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so, so, okay, so why do we say convenience store? Because, um, the, the um, what did I say? So convenient for us. So the hours are convenient for us. Well, that's not the correct spelling. The hours are The hours are convenient for us. Um, let's say, okay, the hours are convenient, the locations. The locations are convenient for us. <coughs> um, there are many, there, there are, um, what, what was the, I saw, I think Sewu had, what did Sewu? There are a lot of things that we can buy it any, yeah. So um, items that we use often, 
maybe items that we use often. Right, so maybe, you know, there'll be um, soap there, there'll be toilet paper there, there will be, um, this is, so like for example, supermarket, right, you buy vegetables and fruit and um, maybe ingredients to prepare meals, right? And so, so a supermarket will have many kinds of different ingredients many kinds of vegetables, many kinds of fruit, meat, right? There'll be steak, beef, and chick, lots of meat, but convenience store won't have those items, right? They'll have things that we um, need right away or um, necessary things, you know, toilet paper, soap, um, things just, you run in and run out, run in and run out. I'm gonna say that run in and run out, run in and run out, right? So we just, oh, I need some toilet paper. So you don't want to go to the supermarket because maybe it's a little far. There'll be lots of people, long line. All you need is toilet paper. So you just, oh, there's a convenience store. You run in, just get one, one, um, one package of toilet paper, and then you're out in and out Tomas says um, is there a shop assistant there okay mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah okay good so um, Hannes, Han says because you can buy everything fast and easy yeah so just in and out in get it and go get it and go Okay, so that's good. Why do we say convenience store? The hours are convenient for us. The locations are convenient for us. Items, they have items that we use often. We can run in and run out. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, this is question number three. And let's see. Okay. Ooh. Number three is <clears throat> make a list make a list of items that you can get that you can buy there. Make a list of items that you can buy there. Convenience store, right? So I, I want you to make a list. Tell me what things you can buy at a convenience store. Make a list of items that you can buy there. Convenience store, yeah? Make a list of items that you can buy there. So I want to see in the chat, I want to see things. I want you to write things that you can buy in a convenience store, okay? So please tell me what you can buy in a convenience store. And maybe, right, we, we're we all from all over the world, right? Dr. Ramirez is in the Dominican Republic. Oh, Dr. G, or Dr. G, <laughs> oh no. I, I keep doing that. Mrs. G, classrooms, Nicaragua. Okay, so she's in Nicaragua. Ah, oh, why do I say? Dr. G classroom. No, it's Mrs. G classroom. So Mrs. G classroom, she's in Nicaragua. Sewu's in Korea. Marion, I think, is in Switzerland. Tomas is in Hungary. So we're Rita is in Brazil. So we have people from all over the world here. Fran is in Canada. Ava is in Prague. So we have people from all over the world. Maybe Tetsuro's here in Japan. So perhaps we have different things, right? So 
your convenience store will sell different things than other people's convenience stores. So this might be interesting. So um, what can you buy in a convenience store in your, in your area, in your town, in your country? So what things can you buy in a convenience store where you live? Where you live, what kind of things can you buy in a convenience store? So here in Japan, you can buy many things, yeah. But you can't buy, usually you can't buy steak here in Japan. But you can buy, for example, um, shaving cream. You can buy toilet paper. You can buy snacks here in Japan. In a convenience store, you can buy snacks. You can buy lunch. We call them bentos. So like a little lunch box. So they have, so a bento will have different compartments for different things. So a bento. Bentos are, are popular in Japan. Like a, we say, like an English bento box. And there'll be like a place for rice. There'll be a place for a vegetable or a few. So there might be some other vegetables, right? So we have places for vegetables. We have maybe a place for a sweet thing, like a, a dessert for sweets. And maybe like the main the, the main course. So, so you can buy these bento boxes in a convenience store here in Japan for your lunch. So many people will go to the convenience. This is Japan, right? Many people will go to a convenience store in Japan to buy their lunch. And usually there'll be different bento boxes, right? So the main course, the main ingredient will be different right? Maybe you want chicken, like a main chicken dish or a main rice dish, something like that. And then you have your main course and then you have like these little side compartments with, with um, like um, side, side dishes, right? So like rice and sweets and vegetables and things like that. So they call that a bento box here in Japan, a lunch box. Okay, Seiru. Okay, so maybe Korea is similar, right? So Seiru is saying um, you get a snack, right? That's very popular here in Japan. Drinks, oh, I forgot. Yes, drinks. Lunch boxes, yep. So many people go get their lunch at a convenience store. My experience in America going to a convenience store, lots of snacks and chocolate, right? And drinks. So not, not, not too many lunches, right? Not in America, we don't, there's not these, right? There's usually like um, a hamburger, not, not very healthy, right? <laughs> so, so actually here in Japan, you can buy healthy food at a convenience store. I don't think in America you can buy healthy food. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe it's changing, right? Or, or it depends, maybe it depends on which convenience store you're talking about. But, and also, here in Japan, convenience stores are just like alone, right? They're just, you know, just that. But I think it, like in California, there'd be a gas station. So, so you, you get gas and you can go into a convenience store to, to buy food and drinks, snacks and drinks. So, but in Japan, they're separate. So you have like a gas station, only gas station. At least this is my town. This is where I live in Japan. So they're completely different. So you have a gas station and a convenience store. Where in like Los Angeles, most are connected. So you have gas station and convenience store together. So you, you put gas in your car and you walk in, pay for your gas, and also you can buy um, snacks and, and things like that. Okay, good. Okay, Marion says, toilet paper, coffee, salt, pepper, soap, oil, rice, juice, pasta, milk, bread, vegetables, fruit, beer, water. That's everything. <laughs> Pedro says, 
Toys, drinks, toys, vegetables, fruits, fast food. All right. Nami says bread, coffee, salad, masks, underwear, books. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Lion says you can buy milk, cheese, yogurt, coffee, tea, snacks, beverage, pizza. All right. <laughs> underwear. Oh, I need underwear. Let's go to the convenience store. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I forgot my underwear. I need to get some. <laughs> That's funny. Books are good. Yeah. Like you, let's say you're, you're, you're on the road driving or you're visiting and you want a book to read. That's good. Okay. Tomas says here, the Shell gas station, you can buy grilled chicken too. Okay. So yeah. So maybe where Tomas lives in Hungary, they're connected to gas and convenience store are connected. Okay, Maria says beer, milk, think food. What is think food? Maybe fast food? Maybe you mean fast food? Sweet bread, paper, sodas, chocolate, candies, juice, yogurt, gelatins maybe like gummy bears yeah okay helga says also many kinds of drinks beer wine cigarettes yeah now we spend all our money yeah so the convenience store wants all your money rita says cheese bread oh so maybe brazil's has a f um you have special cheese bread i don't know what is cheese bread, Rita? I don't know what cheese bread is. Everyone's getting hungry. <laughs> okay, good. I'm looking at the clock. Let's, um, let's continue. Let's change activities here. Fran says we can buy maple syrup. Oh, Canada is very famous for maple syrup, huh? Huh, Fran? So maple syrup. So every, every place has little different nuances, little different things right so brazil maybe cheese bread canada maple syrup america hot dogs right so japan bento boxes so every every country has their own little special um specialty yeah that's fun ava here too gas and food yeah books magazine toys yeah i guess yeah a toy might be good because if you're if you're traveling by car and you have a, a little kid and they're they're give them a toy and they'll be quiet <laughs> so actually perhaps toys are very important to have in a convenience store if you have children keep the children quiet give them a toy <laughs> oh haiti mangoes oh i'm not a big mango fan but um i'm sure many people love mangoes i'm not I'm not a fan of mangoes. Okay, good, good, good. Maple cakes. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what, I like maple pancakes. Is that what you mean? Pancakes? Okay, um, let's, l let's get moving, shall we? Okay, so now it's time for our conversation. Okay, let's do our conversation. And so... Today, we're going to do conversation number nine, at home, household chores. But before we do our conversation, right, I got to erase the board. But before I erase the board, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard so you can check it out anytime you want to. I'm going to open my camera. It's open, and now I'm going to take a picture. You can't see me now, but you can hear me still. And I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Got the picture. Now I'm going to erase the whiteboard, and let's do a conversation, shall we? Good. Let's do it. Okay. That was kind of fun. That's something that, w what's nice about 
talking about convenience store. It's something that we could all understand and it, we all have, um, it, it, and it's still a little different, right? Depending on where, so we all have convenience stores, it looks like, all over the world. So we, we, we know we use a convenience store, but maybe in each country, they're a little different. So it's interesting to hear about other people's um, experience, other people's, um, what, what, what they're like in their country, right? So the convenience store in Japan is different than the convenience store in Prague. The convenience store in Prague is different than the one in Canada. The one in Canada is different than the one in Hungary. The one in Hungary is different than the one in South Korea. The one in South Korea is different than the one in Brazil. The one in Brazil is different than the one in Nicaragua and so on and so forth. <laughs> So we all have them, but they're all a little different, right? They have different services, different items. So it, it's fun. It's fun to, to hear about what people say about their community stores. Okay, good. All right, let's, um, thank you so much, Norman. You're, you're always say nice things, Norman. You're always, and Norman, you have a nice name. So when, when I think of Norman, like everybody, all Normans are nice, <laughs> right? So, so I don't know, like when I, you know, when you hear the name Norman, I think of, oh, that's a nice guy. <laughs> and it's true with you, right? So that, that's funny how, how that works, right? So I've never met uh, angry Norman. I've never met an unfriendly Norman. I've never met a mean Norman. All the Normans I know, all the Normans that I have met, are all have been friendly. <laughs> Cheers, Norman. All righty. I'm going to read conversation number nine, okay? So first I'm going to read it. Then I'm going to write it on the board. So don't worry. If you have the book, great. If you don't have the book, no problem, because I will read it, or not. I will write it on the board. Okay. So the topic is at home and actually household chores, household chores. Okay. So let's start. So first I'm going to read it. So I want you to listen carefully. All right. Here we go. I like to dust. I like to iron. What else do you like to do? Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Okay, one more time. And I'll do this, okay? So you could, we could, there's two people talking, so this might be easier for you to follow, okay? Here we go. I like to dust. I like to iron. What else do you like to do? Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. <laughs> I don't like to wash them, okay? Here we go, one more time. I like to dust. This is A. Okay, let's say this is A. All right, A. I like to dust. This is B. I like to iron. Okay, one more time. This is A. I like to dust. I like to iron. What else do you like to do? Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Okay, I have a question for you. What, what does A like to do? 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 What does A like to do?
Lolly, iron? No, A. <laughs> Rita wants these people to come to her house. That's funny. A, good. A likes to dust. Good, Dr. Maris. Yes. A likes to dust. What else does A like to do? Pedro, good. Dry the dishes. Good, good. Okay, Tetsuo, no. A and B. So A likes to dust and dry the dishes. Yes. Dust and dry the dishes. What does B like to do? What does B like to do? Yeah, Dr. Morris, dry the dishes and dust. Yeah, that's A. What does B like to do? What does B like to do? What does B like to do? Hey, Gable. Yes, B likes to iron. And what else? So B, B likes to iron and do the laundry. Good, good. Yes, Pierre. Iron and do the laundry. Good, 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 good. Okay, well done. Okay, I'm going now, I'm going to now write the conversation on the board, okay? Then, then we will practice. Yeah, there'll be a few steps, so we'll practice the conversation like normal. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Ah, I dropped the, my marker. Ah, that ink. Oh, boy. Shoot. <laughs> Remember yesterday? Remember, yeah, I got a good tissue. Oh boy. Shoot. Right? Remember yesterday? Ah, uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This ink is. Oh no. Oh well. In English, I mean in Japanese, we say shogunai. It can't be. Oh well. <laughs> shogunai. Oh well. Yeah. Oh no. Ah, uh, shoot, shoot. All right, remember yesterday we, we, we did the, we practiced shoot. My mistake, my mistake. Okay, we're, we're finished now, mistake over. Yeah, I dropped my marker. It's like, it, now there's a big, big mark on the carpet. <laughs> oh, well. We say, we say mistakes happen. Don't cry over spilt milk. Don't cry over spilt milk. It'll, it happens. It can't be helped. It happens. Okay, here we go. A. A says, I like to dust. B says, I like to iron. A says, what else do you like to do? What else do you like, whoops, like to do? What else do you like to do? B says, B says, well, I like to do the laundry. I like to do the laundry. How about you?
how about you? A says, I like to dry the dishes. But, but, I don't like to wash them. But I don't like to wash them. Okay, that's our conversation. That's our conversation. Okay, let's go over it. Let's, um, now we will practice pronunciation and speed, okay? So we will practice the pronunciation, how we say the words, and how fast and slow. So, so speed, we will also practice speed, okay? So here we go. I like to dust. 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 I like to iron. 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 What else do you like to do? 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 Well, I like to do the laundry. 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 How about you? 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 I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to dry, or I don't like to wash them. One more time. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. I like to dry the dishes. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Wash them. I don't like to wash them. I don't like to wash them. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. I don't like to wash them. I don't like to wash them. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Okay, good. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about the meaning. I'm sure you understand, right? Very basic, right? I like to dust, right? So dusting is where, you know, so when you open the door, dirt comes in. in it's in the air, right? There's, there's dirt in the air. There's, so dust is very fine dirt, right? It, it just, it, it travels in the air. It's so small, so light, it, it just floats in the air. And then it will come down and land on furniture, right? So a lot of times my camera right here, you can't see it, but on top of my camera, there, there's, there's um, dust, right? So sometimes I have to um, take a duster. A duster usually has feathers, right? And so you just kind of um, kind of um, sweep it, right? You sweep it and you take, and then the dust flies off it, right? So um, dusting is you just, the little uh, dirt particles that land on the furniture or 
on the walls or on your pictures and things like that. So dusting. Take, take off the, the fine, small dirt, yeah? Iron, we know that, right? So we iron shirts because after we wash them, there's wrinkles, right? You can see lines. Like my, I'm, my stuff is always, always wrinkled. So I feel bad. I'm, I'm doing these live streams. You could see me. My clothes are wrinkled usually. So maybe. So this, this shirt's not so bad. But a lot of my, my, shir- my shirts and sweaters are wrinkled. So I'm so sorry for um, showing you my wrinkled sweaters and shirts. <laughs> because I don't iron. <laughs> I don't iron, no. Okay. Um, I like to iron. What else do you like to do? So what other, so these are household chores, right? What else, what other things, what other household chores do you like to do? Like what other household chores do you enjoy? What other housework do you like? And uh, well, that's kind of like a, a pause. Well, let me think about it. Hmm. Well, so we, we it's an utterance, well, and we say that when we're thinking. Like, well, or we might say, hmm, right? Hum, hum, hum. Well, well. So I'm thinking, right? Because you asked me a question, what else do you like to do? Okay, what other, okay, I told you, I told you I like to iron. Right? I like, I like ironing because it makes me relaxed. It makes me feel relaxed. Um, I like clean shirts. Or I mean, I like, I like uh, wrinkle-free. Wrinkle-free. No wrinkles means wrinkle-free. So I like wrinkle-free shirts. So ironing, um, I feel relaxed when I'm ironing. I like wrinkle-free clothing. So I like ironing. Then you ask me, what else do I like? So I'm thinking, I say, well, hmm, let me think. Well, I like to do the laundry. So I like to wash clothes. (laughs) I like to separate the clothes. I like to put the clothes in the washer. (laughs) I like putting the detergent in. I like pressing the button. (laughs) and see the clothes go around and around. (laughs) I like to do the laundry. How about you? So you asked me, what else do you like to do? I told you I like to, I also like to do the laundry. Then I'm asking you, how about you? Now I'm asked, now I switching the question for you. So I say, how about you? How about you? How about you? And then A says, I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them, right? So I don't, I like drying dishes, I think, right? After you wash them, you have to, you take a a dish towel and you dry them so there's no water, right? Then you put the dishes away. You put them, you put the dishes back in the cupboard. So this A likes doing that. A likes drying the dishes but, but A does not like washing the dishes. No, scrubbing the dishes. I don't like washing the dishes, but I like drying the dishes. Okay, good, good. How about you? Yes, Ava, how about you? Okay, good, good, good. So that, we, we, we practice pronunciation. We practice speed. We talked about the meaning Now, let's do it together, all right? Let's role play. We will be A and B. You and I together, we will be A and B. We will be these people, all right? So first, I will be A, then you will be B. So we will practice this together. I will say A. You will say B, okay? So let's do it. I need some water before we start. Okay, good, good, good. All right, 
Here we go. I'm A, you're B. Count down. Five, four. <coughs> oh, boy. I, I have this. In winter, I get this little cough. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm fine. No problem. I just get this little, little cough every winter. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm good now. I'm good. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I like to dust. What else do you like to do? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Yeah, okay. I'm A, you're B. A, B, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I like to dust. What else do you like to do? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, let's, we always do it three times, yeah? Three is a charm. The third is a charm. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Norman! Thank you, buddy. Norman got the book. Okay, let's do it, Norman. Okay, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I like to dust. What else do you like to do? I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Okay, good. Let's switch. Now you're A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. All right, let's count down. You are A. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I like to iron. Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? Good job. <laughs> Let's do it again. You're A. Remember, three's a charm. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I like to iron. Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? All right, all right. Okay, here we go. This is the third time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. I like to iron. Well, I like to do the laundry. How about you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you so much. All of you are too kind, too kind. Okay, good, good, good. Now, there is some extension, right? We will do that. But before we do some more with this, let's do dictation cards, shall we? Okay, good, good. Here we go. This is dictation time. You need a pencil. You need paper because you are going to listen and write down what I say word for word. We're going to do three steps. No, four steps. We do four steps. Step one, dictation. Step two, shadow. Step three, on your own. Four, quiz. All right. So we have dictation, shadowing, on your own, quiz. Step one, dictation. You need a pencil. You need paper. Because you are going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Okay, 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 okay. Where, here they are. Here are the dictation cards. Okay, here we go, everyone. Let's do it. Let's do it. Patty's in the house. Patty, Mwah. nice, nice. I also, I like to run, but I, I run slowly. <laughs> Patty, so I run slowly. <laughs> Okay, good. 
All right, let's do it, everyone. Patty, this is dictation cards. I hope you have a pencil. I hope you have a piece of paper because I want you to write down what I say word for word. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. Lolly is ready. Yes, Sherry, I have energy. Yes, because I drink coffee every day. <laughs> no, I'm, I just have this natural, um, yeah, yeah, because I'm having fun. I'm here with you, and so when it's fun, you have energy, right? So, so I'm, I'm happy to be here with you, and so that's how I, you give me the energy. You guys give me the energy to keep going. So as long as you are here, I will be here, and I will have energy because of you. Okay, here we go. Count down. Card number one. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one. I do the dishes every day. I do the dishes every day. I do the dishes every day. Card number two. I wash the windows every New Year's Day. I wash the windows every New Year's Day. Third time. I wash the windows every New Year's Day. Number three, ironing shirts is not very fun. <laughs> Muhammad, no problem. <laughs> oh, thank you for being here, Muhammad. Okay, it's third time. Ironing shirts is not very fun. Card number four. You should separate the laundry. You should separate the laundry. You should separate the laundry. Card number five. It's time to sweep the garage. It's time to sweep the garage. It's time to sweep the garage. Number six. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Number seven. It's good to scrub the bath every week. It's good to scrub the bath every week. It's good to scrub the bath every week. J. Okay, last card, number eight. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. Hello, Mercy Bunny. <laughs> okay, we did the dictation. Well done. Right? So you, you listen and wrote down what I say. What I, you said. 
you wrote down what I said, right? Now it's time for shadowing. This is listening and speaking time. Not writing, not listening and writing, but listening and speaking. Here we go. Shadowing time. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I do the dishes every day. 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 That's true. I do them every day. How about you? <laughs> okay, card number two. I wash the windows every New Year's Day. 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 That's true. I do the windows every New Year's Day. I wash the windows. That's tradition. I do that every once a year. I wash the windows. <laughs> Only once a year. Every New Year's Day, I wash the windows. I, it's, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard, it's a tough job, but I do it every New Year's Day. Okay, card number three. Ironing shirts is not very fun. Mm -mm. Ironing shirts is not very fun. Ironing shirts is not very fun. Not with a brick. No, Tomas. <laughs> no, Tomas. No, 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 no. Ironing shirts is not very fun. No, that's true. No, 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 no. It's not very fun. Okay, card number four. You should separate the laundry. You should separate the laundry. You should separate the laundry. Why on New Year's Day? Um, because in Japan, that's... So, Dr. Maris... So in America, we say spring cleaning, right? So, so in the spring, you do the, the, the deep cleaning, right? You, you do the, you know, you, you get serious. You, do, you clean the house spick and span. In Japan, it's, um, it happens in winter. It happens around New Year's. So, so we do the deep cleaning on New Year's in my house <laughs> here in Japan. You should separate the laundry. Yes, you should. You should separate the laundry. Okay, number five. Number five. It's time to sweep the garage. 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 It's time. It's getting dirty, so it's time to sweep the garage. Okay, number six. Number six. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. 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 That's true. I did it today. I did it this morning. I took out the cans, the glass, and plastic. So on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. You're welcome, Dr. Ramirez. Yes, Adam, I live here in Japan. I've been here for 25 years now. I've been in Japan for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a long, long 25 years. I came to Japan in 1996. Okay, here we go. Number seven. It's good to scrub the bath every week. It's good to scrub the bath every week. It's good to scrub the bath every week. Yeah, Tomas, traditions are different. That's for sure. That's what makes it interesting, yeah. You're welcome, Jay. It's good to scrub the bath every week. 
Yes. Scrub it every week so it doesn't get too dirty. You do it every week and it's easy, right? If you do it every week, it's easy. If you, if you wait longer, then it becomes more difficult to scrub the bath, yeah? Okay, number eight, last card. Five, four, three, two, one. Amur, thank you, Amur. Here we go, number eight, last card. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. <gasps> I see a mistake. Ah! So, I wrote rack. It's rake, R-A-K-E. Ah! Shoot. Okay, so, there is a spelling mistake right here. So, it's R-A-K-E, not rack. Okay, so this is a mistake, everyone. Sorry, sorry. Ava, I will fix this. So you, when, when I send you the cards, Ava, I will fix this, okay? I just noticed it now. So this is the wrong spelling. In autumn, we must rake the leaves, R-A-K-E. This is rack. Rack is, <laughs> so rack is, is like like a shelf, a rack. And um, like we use it like in bowling racket. So so this is this is wrong. It's rake, R-A-K-E. So sorry about that. I'm sorry. Shoot, my mistake. In autumn we must rake, 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 rake the leaves. This is wrong. Okay, good, good, good. That was shattering, we did shattering. Now, it's time for you to do it on your own. On your own, okay? So, I need to get a little card. I'm sorry, right here I have the card. And we will say these, okay. So shattering, we, we were speaking at the same time. But, now it's time for you to do it on your own, okay? So we will take turns. And when I say it, we will see the sentence. When you say it, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by just looking at the picture. Okay, here we go. Card number one, on your own. We will take turns. Here we go. Let's practice. Okay, here we go. I do the dishes every day. Now it's your turn. I do the dishes every day. I do the dishes every day. I do the dishes every day. I wash the windows every New Year's 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 Day. Ironing shirts is not very fun. 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 You should separate the laundry. 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 It's time to sweep the garage. It's time to sweep the garage. It's time to sweep the garage.
it's time to sweep the garage. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. 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 It's good to scrub the bath every week. 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 Okay, this is spelling mistake. I'm so sorry. This it should be R A K E. R-A-K-E, rake, 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 R-A-K-E, not rack, rake, I'm sorry. In autumn, we must rake the leaves. 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 Rake, R-A-K-E. Thank you so much, Lolly. So actually, this is called a rake. So like, for example, vacuum, right? So we vacuum, that's a verb, and the the... The thing, the noun is a vacuum. Same, same with here. The rake is a noun and to rake is a verb. Okay, so we must rake the leaves. So that's the verb, right? And this is also, this is called a rake. This is a noun, this is a thing, and it's called a rake. And we also use it as a verb. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Yep. On your own, we did it. On We did it, you did it, you did it. Okay, on your own, you did it. Now it's time for the quiz. Yes, uh, quiz, quiz, quiz. Okay, sorry, um, Janderson, rake, R-A-K-E. I'm so sorry, I, I, I misspelled it on the card. I'm so sorry. It's R-A-K-E. Thank you. That's right, Ava. Thank you. Tetsuro, Eva, I will fix it, okay? When you get the cards, it will have the correct spelling, okay, Eva? Recyclables, yes, recyclables. So today is our recycle day. Okay, good, good, good. So recyclables are things that can be recycled. Recyclables are things that can be recycled. Recyclables are things that can be recycled. For example, glass. For example, cans. For example, plastic. The pet bottles, right? Okay, good, good. Now, yeah, I'm sorry, um, Janderson. It was my, my, my spelling mistake. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. Yes, and leaves, we spell plural with a V. That's right. I did that correctly, didn't I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have to check... I have to check, make sure everything is correct. Oh no, I the the rake. I hate doing spelling mistakes. I hate it because all of you see it, the world sees it, and I go, oh no, I spelled it wrong. And it's like ah, it makes me feel embarrassed. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Okay, let's do the quiz. I'm going to shuffle the cards. And I'm going to cover the sentence right off, straight off, so you will not see the sentence. But in the chat, I want you to write the sentence. Okay, so I'm shuffling. I'm going to um, mix the cards up a little bit. And then I'm going to take the top three cards. 
Um, they both mean the same. So, um, w- which, so Tomas says fall and autumn, right? So they mean the same thing. It, it's whatever you like. So you can use fall or autumn. So it depends on what you like. I like autumn, so I use autumn. But if you like to say fall, it's fall. That's the same. Oh, Lolly says stop shuffling. Okay, I stopped. So it's really up to you. So it, you can use either one. They mean the same. So whatever you feel more comfortable with, please use that word. Okay, here we go. Quiz time. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, so I'm always doing mistakes. I'm always making mistakes, Maria. (laughs) I am mistake prone. Mistake prone, meaning I make mistakes very easily. (laughs) All right, here we go. What is the sentence? In the chat, please tell me what the sentence is. What is the sentence? Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, Tomas, yeah, may, I don't know. I, I use autumn, but Mary, I don't know if it's a British and American thing. I, I think it's just kind of a preference. Some people like saying fall. Some people like saying autumn. Thank you, Fran. I appreciate it. I, I I'm thank you for being friendly to me. Thank you for being nice to me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, Lolly's on the board there. Lolly says, it's time to sweep the garage. Okay, Dr. Maris, it's time to sweep the garage. Helga says, it's time to sweep the garage. Tetsuro says, it's time to sweep the garage. Okay, Janderson says, it's time to sweep the garage. Ava says, it's time to sweep the garage. Yeah, you guys got it. Let's check. Let's check the sentence. Rita says, it's time to sweep the garage. Good. Sunny. Okay. Good question, Sunny. Mop is when you use water. Sweep is when you don't use water. So mop, a a, a mop is different than, like, this is a broom. And a broom is not used with water. A broom is dry. And so we, we, we sweep dry things with a broom, like, like you know, dirt, right? But um, if you want to um, mop your floor, like your kitchen floor, to get it really clean, we use a mop, and that is used with water. It's wet. Okay, let's check the sentence. Yep, you guys got it. It's time to sweep the garage. Very good. Sunny, good question. Thank you for the question. Okay, here we go. Our next card, we're going to do three. Here's card number two. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Yeah, so Tomas, mop uses water. It's it's wet. Where a broom is dry. So sweep is dry, like cleaning, and mopping is wet cleaning. Okay, Dr. Maris is on the board. Lolly's there. Lolly says, ironing shirts is not fun. Dr. Maris says, ironing shirts is not fun. Helga, ironing shirts is not very fun. Maria, ironing shirts is not very fun. Tetsuro, ironing shirts is not very fun. Tomas, ironing shirts, iron, no, Tomas. Okay, Enos, ironing shirt is not very fun. No, we want shirts. 
Marion ironing shirts is not very fun. Ava ironing shirts is not very fun. Fran ironing shirts is not very fun. Esther ironing shirts is not very fun. Rita ironing shirts is not very fun. Pierre ironing shirts is not very fun. Janderson ironing shirts is not very fun. And the sentence is ironing shirts is not very fun. Not at all. Okay, here we go. Our last card. What is the sentence? Here we go. Our final quiz card. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Please. Please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. Oh, you have a difficult name. Nad ah, Najila? <laughs> Najila. Is that correct? Hello, Najila. Is that correct? Okay, Lolly's on the board. On Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Dr. Maris, on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Maria, on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Helga, on Wednesdays, on Wednesday, I take out the recyclables. Rita, on Wednesday, I take out the recyclable. Recyclables, Rita, recyclables. Dang, on Wednesday, I take out the recyclables. Tomas. On Wednesday, I take out the recyclables. E, um, Ava. Ah, oh, okay, the sentence is very different. Okay, yeah, don't worry about it, Ava. Just um, say it. That's most important, right? That's okay. Don't, don't worry about writing. Most important is, is speaking, okay? So say it with me. Or say the, look at the picture and say the sentence, Ava. Okay, Tetsuro, on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Dr. Maris changes her answer, Wednesdays. Ida, or Rita added the S there. Helga added the S there. Tomas added the S there. Okay, let's look at, okay, Marion says, on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Okay, Janderson says, on Wednesday, I take out the recyclables. Okay. Rita changes her answer. Recyclables. <laughs> yeah, it is complicated. Okay. On Wednesdays. So it's plural. Okay. It's not. Okay. Marion, it's not a possessive, right? It's a, it's a, um, it's a plural. Wednesdays, every Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, each each Wednesday, every Wednesday. So we just make it plural. On Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, I take out the recyclables. Nicely done, everyone. Yes, Rita. Everyone did very well. That was the quiz. You guys did great. Let's check that off. It is done and dusted. <laughs> done and dusted, dusted. It's done and dusted. So that means everything is finished, right? It's done and dusted. It's clean. Okay. Now, I told you we would get back to the conversation. So let's get back to the conversation. Here is a key sentence. Okay, let's look at a key sentence, shall we? Here is a key sentence right here. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. All right? So here's a positive. Positive. I like to wash the dishes. And then we use the but, the conjunction, for the, the, the negative, right? 
I don't like to wash them. I like to wash the dish. I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. So we're using but, right? Because positive, negative, all right? <coughs> so let's practice this pattern, shall we? So here's the pattern. I like to... You're going to put, what do you like to do? I like to, mm, but I don't like to. So let's practice this pattern. Mrs. G. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Dun, 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 dun. So, thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. G. You're all, uh, Mrs. G, you, you, you and Ava are always kind supporters. Thank you so much. Uh, I just put Mrs. only. I, I didn't put G. Oh, no. I have to put G because that's your name. <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank you so much. Mwah. Ano Nuevo. Feliz Navidad. E. Ano Nuevo. Okay. I like to. Okay, this is the pattern. I want to see. I want to see this in the chat. I like to. Mm, but I don't like to. Mm. All right. So I want to see your sentences. Yes, bravo, bravo to the kind supporters. Mwah. Okay, Hannah is on the board. Oh, oh, Lolly's on the board. Okay, I, I, okay, I got to pay attention. Okay, here we go. Lolly's on the board. I like to learn English, but I don't like to learn maths. <laughs> okay, Hannah says, I like to iron, but I don't like to... S? What, 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 what is S? Okay, yes, happy holidays. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Lion says, I like to eat, but I don't like to cook. Oh, that's very good. Yes, Lion. Very good. Me too. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ava says, I like to eat meals but i don't like to cook yeah so exactly so we don't need ava we don't need meal so I, I so it's better to say i like to eat but i don't like to cook so so d don't put meal just eat that's the same thing helga says i like to do the laundry but i don't like to take out the recyclables very good dr maris says i like to vacuum but i don't like to dust very good Okay, oh, QQ says, I like to watch live stream lessons, but I don't like to practice my English. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, practicing is always, or, you know, studying is always the hard part. Okay, Tomas says, I like to eat, but I don't like to do the dishes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hannah says, I like to iron, but I don't like to wash the dishes after Meals. How about meals, henna? Let's make that plural. I like to iron, but I don't like to wash the dishes after meals. Let's do the plural. Okay, Amanda. I like to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was fast. Let me go back. Okay, Amanda says... Amanda says, I like to eat, but I don't like to cook. Yes, me too. Maria, I like to... I like... I like to dry the dishes, but I don't like to wash them. Okay, Maria, I like... Too dry. We need the two there. Okay, Dora says, I like to clean my house, but I don't like to wash the dishes. We need a two there, Dora. I like to clean. Okay, Inna says, I like to iron, but I don't like to scrub the bath room. Yeah, Ava, I like to eat, but I don't like to cook. Yeah. Okay, Lion, I like to shop, but I don't like to go alone. Lion, I like your sentences. Nice one. 
Okay, Tomas says, I like to get money, but I don't like to pay <laughs> money. Or, okay, I like, to, I like to receive money, but I don't like to spend money. I like to get money, but I don't like to spend money. So it's better to say spend, Tomas. That was Tomas? Who was that? No, that's Tetsuro. Tetsuro. Tetsuro, ketchi. <laughs> I'm kidding, Tetsuro. Only Tetsuro understands. Tetsuro, you understand. I'm kidding, Tetsuro. You're very, you're very generous because you're a member. You help support me in the channel. So I am kidding. You are not catchy, Tetsuro. You are very kind. You're very generous. You are opposite of catchy. Okay, Lolly says, I like to drink beer, but I don't like to drink milk. I like both, Lolly. I like beer and milk. Not together, but separately. Ava says, I like to do the laundry, but I don't like to iron. Me too. Well, I don't like either. <laughs> Dora says, I like your class, but it's hard to practice. Oh, I try to make it easy. I try to make it easy. I want to make it easy for you. Angela says, I like to cook, but I don't like to wash the dishes. Me too. Well, I sometimes like to cook. I sometimes like to cook. Um, okay, Irina says, I like to cook, but I don't like to clean the dirty pots and pans. Pots and pans. No one likes cleaning pots and pans. No, no, no. Okay, Jonathan says, I like to swim, but I don't like to dive. I like diving. <laughs> Tetro says, I am catchy. <laughs> catchy means um, frugal or tight. Don't, so someone catchy, that, that's Japanese word, and that means they don't like to spend money. Okay, Ava says, I like to do the laundry, but I don't like to iron. Perfect. Okay, uh, Batista. I like to drink tea, but I don't like to drink coffee. Whoa, here's coffee. Cheers, Batista. I love coffee. You're welcome, Dora. Anytime. It's my pleasure, Dora. Maria, I like to go to parties, but I don't like when the day after I feel so bad. Oh, okay. Hangovers. Maria, you're talking about a hangover. So, Maria, I like to party, but I don't like hangovers. Write this, Maria. This is a good sentence. Ready? I like to party, but I don't like hangovers. No, 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 no. I like to party, but I don't like hangovers. One more time. I like to party, but I don't like hangovers. That's when you drink too much. Hangovers, a hangover is when you drink too much and the next day you have a headache. <laughs> you feel bad. You're right, dang, perfect. That is correct, dang. Yes, yes, dang right. Rake is a noun, a garden tool. To rake is a verb, to rake up the leaves. Yes, to rake up the leaves. Perfect. Tetsuro, I like to drink some tea, but I don't like to drink alcohol. Good, good sentence. That's right, Dr. Maris, hangover. Lolly says, hang. What's a hangover? That is when you drank too much and you have a headache from drinking too much. You don't feel good because you drank too much alcohol. I'm sorry, Adam. So, Adam, I'm sorry. I'm, it depends your position. If you're close to a green team, I may skip you because I have to read the green team. So, Adam, I, I try to read everybody's. I'm not doing that on purpose. But if you're, it depends on your position. If you're next to some green team members, I'll read them. And then I'll miss you. So I'm sorry. So I'm going to read. So I'm, I'm not doing that on purpose, Adam. I don't do that on purpose. So Adam, so please tell me your sentence one more time. And 
I will look for your name, Adam. I will look for your name. So please write your sentence one more time. And, and thank you for doing your best. I appreciate you doing, working hard um, with your English. That's great, Adam. And um, keep going. Don't give up. And if, if I don't, the important thing, Adam, is you're, you're, you're trying, right? So even though I may not see your sentence, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that you are doing your best. You are writing the sentences, okay? So um, practice makes perfect. And I tried to see everyone's sentences, but sometimes I can't. So I'm sorry for that. So please write your sentence one more time, and I'm going to look for Adam. Okay, there's Rock on Fire. Hey, Rock on Fire, how are you doing? Rita says, I like fish, but I don't like fishing. Oh, that's interesting. Nice sentence. Ava says, I like to exercise, but I don't like swimming. Okay, Maria, good. Yeah, so Maria, I want to see that sentence. Please write that sentence, Maria. Uh, Lolly says, a hangover is when you drank too much and you feel sick after that. That's right. You feel sick the next you feel sick the next day, right? The morning. So usually you're you're partying and you're drinking at night and then you drank too much and then you wake up and you go, "Oh, I I feel bad." Okay. Yeah, Tomas, a hangover is feeling bad the next day because you drank too much. Rock on fire. I like to clean the house, but I don't like I like cleaning the house, but I don't like cleaning. What, what, okay, rock and fire, be more specific, okay? Be, so what don't you like cleaning? So you like cleaning. Oh, I like a clean house, but, I, okay, I got, rock and fire, I got it. You need, ah, uh, you need a, a clean house there. Then, then the sentence makes sense, okay, rock and fire. So you need the ah uh, to make your sentence understand to make it clear right you want to make your sentence clear so you need a ah uh, there so please write it again rock on fire i like a clean house but i don't like cleaning perfect uh say woos i i don't know that 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 word sued i one more time say woo esther i like sweets but i I like sweets, but it is not good for my health. Yes. Tomas, I like a tidy room, but I don't like picking, it, picking up things, tidying your room. Okay. So, so drunk is the... the um, perfect form so we could just do, so we can just do um, so drunk is like when you're too you drank too much I'm drunk drank is the past I think I always get confused like drunk and drank ah okay no problem say woo Sunny says, I like to listen to music, but I don't like watching TV. Or, okay, wait, wait, Sunny. I like to listen to music, but I don't like to watch TV. So we need, we need that to, to, to match, okay? To listen, to watch. So we need, we need that matching there, okay, Sunny? I like Coca-Cola, but this is not good for my health yes i like coca-cola but it's not good for my health okay i like coca-cola but it's not good for my health okay tomas i don't like to pack things into the cupboard all right or we we say, we say put away put away Okay, Janderson, I understand. Okay, yep, it's, Brazil is 12 hours different than Japan. So here, it's almost noon. In Brazil, it's almost midnight. 
Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for um, stopping by. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year, Janderson. Okay, good. We have to get going because there's a story, and it's almost been two hours, and I said one hour. I can't believe we are going way, way over time. Well, you know what? I have to go. So we're going to do the story next time. We're going to do the story next time, okay? Because it is way over time, way over time. Okay, you're welcome, Tomas. Ava says, I like to watch TV, but I don't like to watch TV news. Good, good. Andrea says, I like to sleep, but I don't like to make the bed. Okay, so we need the two, two, right? So we need, we need the verbs to match, all right? So I like to sleep, but I don't like to make the bed. So we have to match that. Rock on fire. I like coffee very much, but I don't like tea. You're welcome, Helga. Yep, next year. We'll do it next year. <laughs> because... I'm taking some time off. I like to watch TV, but I don't like the commercials. I know, Dora. I understand, Dora. Me too. Okay, Angela. You are very welcome. Everyone, you are everyone. Time flies. I know. It, it, Dr. Maris, like it, you would think like two hours is a long, long time, but... It always goes by so quick because you guys are, this is great. You guys are always, um, you guys are always, um, what, what's the word? You're always um, not productive, but you're, you're oh, I, I, I can't think of the word I want to say. Um, oh, I can't think of the word. It, it's going to pop in my head, I'm sure. But you guys are always we're, 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 we're active, right? You're, you, everyone's so active that it just, time goes by so quickly and, and it just flies by. It just flies by. Okay. Um, uh, I like English class with Mark, but I don't like to go. <laughs> I don't like to go either. I have to go because I have many things to do today. And so I need to... Wednesday's always planned for one hour, but it always goes over. I can never do just one hour. It just, it's not enough time. One hour is too short, right? Thank you, Tetsuro. You too. Uh, yo, yo, Toshio. So this is for Tetsuro because he lives in Japan. So I'm going to wish him a happy new year. Yo, yo, Toshio. So there's no... We don't have the Christmas tradition in Japan, but we have a New Year's tradition. So um, this is for Tetsuro. Yo-yo Toshio. So that means have a happy New Year. Have a happy New Year. And, and then um, when it's after New Year's, for happy New Year in Japanese, we say, um, um, Ake maste omodeito gozaimasu. So that is happy New Year. So... Before New Year's, we say, have a happy New Year. And then after, we say, happy New Year. Okay, so have a happy New Year because it's still December, right? So we say, have a happy New Year. Have a happy New Year. So everyone, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tetsuro. Okay, um, now... I will be back. I'm taking about, I don't know, maybe about 10 days off to spend with my family because my kids are going to be off school, so I have to be home with my children. So this is that I will be back January 5th. All right, everyone? January 5th. I will be back at 5 p.m. That's a Tuesday. January 5th. Okay, everyone? I want to say thank you for this year, 2020. Thank you for being with me. And many of you have been with me for the whole year. So I really, really appreciate your kind support. I appreciate you guys being here with me every week. 
and we've been here together for this strange year, 2020. We've been here the whole year together. So mwah, thank you so much. And a special thank you to Ava today for your, your special kind support. Mwah. And thank you, Mrs. G, also for your special kind support. Mwah. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Green Team, the supporters. So thank you so much for your kind, kind support. It means a lot to me. And um, like I always say, you guys, keep me going. You give me the energy and um, thank you so much. Yes, Tetsuro, January 5th, I will be back. So everyone have, have, well, for, I know some people don't celebrate Christmas, others do. Um, I do. So for the people who celebrate Christmas, I want to say um, have a Merry Christmas and for everyone, have a happy new year, right? So we're all, everyone, some people are going to celebrate Christmas. Other people will not. But we will all celebrate New Year's, yeah? So um, thank you again. It, it, I don't know what else to say, right? I say thank you, thank you, thank you. I can, I can stand here for two hours to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I can. Um, that's easy to do. But I, it's hard to say goodbye. I have to say goodbye. Um, thank you. I'll say it one more time. Every, okay. Have a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Yes, yes. And um, thank you always. And I will be here next year, 2021. That's what it's going to be, 2021. Wow, time flies. Yep. So until, until then, until January 5th, 2021 be safe smile um have a merry christmas have a um, happy new year let's make 2021 great we will be back for 2021 let's do it again let's have a good year next year let's let's um stay healthy let's be safe let's have fun let's um be happy. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Let's be happy. Happiness is number one for sure, for sure. Okay, you guys are great. You, you guys are really, really great. Happy holidays. Thank you. You guys are fantastic. I love you all. Mwah. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, everyone in the chat, right? Everyone is friendly and wonderful. So let's all clap for each other, not just for me, not just for the green team. Let, let's clap for everyone, okay? So let's, let's um, clap for everyone. Ready? Okay, let's cap, clap down. Or <laughs> let's count down to having um, a clap for everyone. And um, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! everyone yeah okay nice nice okay yep let's have a uh, uh, ovation for everyone <laughs> yes okay let's um now let's clap down or clap down count not a clap down a countdown all right let's count down to saying goodbye and seeing each other until 2021 okay so mm, it'll be it'll be wonderful to see you again yeah so Let's see each other again in the new year. Let's see each other again in the new year. Okay, so let's count down. <laughs> Devender, hi, Devender. Hey, Devender is in the house. Okay, clap for Devender. Yay. Mwah. Okay, here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you and have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Be safe, be kind, and most important, be happy. Bye-bye.